Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Fatler Ridge. And the purpose of today's video is to give you some good advice on how to properly select ammunition for home defense for your AR-15. So let's get started. Folks, if you're going to be using your rifle for home defense, you need to have a white light on here. I, I could tell you story after story about people that have had to undergo tragedies but they did not identify what they were shooting on. They did not identify that. They just shot and, and as a result, tragedy ensued. So the first thing we need to make sure is, is be sure of your target and what's beyond it. You know, this most certainly applies during home defense. So at a minimum, on your rifle for home defense, you're going to need a good set of sights and a good white light. Now let's move on to the ammunition. No bullet is effective if you don't hit. That said, if we're talking about an environment like an apartment or a condo or you live in a neighborhood home, or even if you live in a home in the country where your nearest neighbor is half a mile away, we still need to be very aware of overpenetration. So the rounds that I'm gonna to recommend to you for use for home defense are gonna be the ones that are gonna be the most effective against bad guys on their flesh but also have one of the least amounts of overpenetration that you can have. These are the choices that I would definitely recommend to use in your AR-15. And as you can see, we've got multiple magazines here. Each one of them holds a good bullet that I would definitely bet my life on. So let's get started with the projectiles. A good all-around choice for a 223 round for home defense or 556 is going to be the old Warus itself, XM193. This round has been around since the 1950s. It's the one our troops used in Vietnam. It was used all the way up until the 1980s and even beyond. But this round here has been doing the job for decades. It is fast, it's effective in flesh, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It tumbles, yaws, fragments, all that nasty stuff that the round was designed to do. Best bang for your buck, these are about 30 cents a round, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, depending on the time that you're watching the video. But there's nothing wrong with this choice for home defense. Nothing whatsoever wrong with this. And it will more than adequately do its job. If this is what your budget is and you can afford that, I would say roll with this for standard ball. Good thing about this, you can train with it, you can practice with it, and you can defend your home with it with zero issues. So good all around bullet choice right here, XM193. Uh, 55 grain full metal jacket ball. Folks, another choice for a home defense round for an AR-15 is gonna be your soft point ammo. There's a lot of different brands of soft point ammo. I mean, Winchester, Federal, Spear. This one happens to be Spear. There's uh, nothing wrong with, with any of those. They all work great. Soft points are good to go. You know, soft points expand pretty quickly. They penetrate more than adequately. A good thing about this round is that you're definitely gonna get that round expansion. You're definitely gonna get the uh, diameter going outward is when it hits somebody so great all-around choice for that as well I will warn you about soft point ammo you have to make sure that it cycles reliably in your gun there are some guns that soft points do not like at all uh, some of them they run effortlessly so you need to go out and test these before you before you make an actual choice drawbacks to these soft points they're not as accurate as some of the other choices you definitely lose a little bit of accuracy but I highly doubt that you're going to notice that one MOA of difference of accuracy at seven yards. Okay, I really doubt that you're going to notice that. Uh, it's certainly not going to impact your rounds more than your 10 MOA trigger flinch. So we got to be sure that these guns cycle accurately in our gun. But this is a great choice if you want a good, good fight stopper in soft flesh. So soft points. And grain doesn't really matter. They're 62s, 64s. I mean, anywhere up to including, you know, whatever you can imagine. But uh, pick a good one, and any of those brands that I mentioned will be more than adequate. All right, everyone, another great choice for home defense is going to be a open tip match bullet. Now, these have been around for a while, for at least over a decade, and these are the heavier ones. These are your 75, 77 grain bullets. This one here happens to be 77 grain uh, Black Hills. If you'll look at these bullets, you'll see that it is an open tip. It's the hollow point, but it's not a true hollow point. It's actual competition bullet that Sierra developed, and our troops have been using this one in their SPR rifles. This is a great choice. Your heavier bullet's gonna really do a lot of, it, it's true in flight. These things are not affected by wind. Uh, as much as the other bullets are. But since we're talking about home defense, that really doesn't come into play. And what you're gonna really think about here, guys, is that these things have great penetration and they have a great wound cavity. Uh, 77 grain bullets are doing the trick. They continue to do the trick. They are well, well sought after uh, in the military as well. 
I like this round for home defense. It's the one I personally use. Uh, it's in my AR for home defense. I enjoy it quite a bit. It's accurate, uh, and I know that it will do the trick if anybody attempts to, you know, do anything stupid. So I would highly recommend these as well. Uh, a couple of different companies make it. I think Silver State Armory makes it. Black Hills makes it. Uh, there's some surplus stuff out there if you can find it. Highly recommend those, and that is a 77 grain uh, open tip match. Uh, problem about this. It can be a little costly, you know, I mean, they can cost anywhere from, you know, 80 cents to a dollar a round, but we're talking home defense ammo. It's not necessarily something you'd want to take a training class with, although I've seen people do it. If you've got the money, do it, but uh, overall, this is going to be your home defense round. Definitely make sure it cycles in your gun as well, although I haven't seen any rifles have any reliability issues with the open tip matches. All right, guys, the last one I want to talk about is this polymer tip. And I know that this is a 762 by 39 round, but I didn't have one on hand, a 556 on hand. But it's going to look very similar to this. You can see this red polymer tip. Um, this is a Hornady round. A lot of the Hornady tap rounds will use this polymer tip. This is a great choice as well. Um, one of our instructors, JJ, really likes a 60 grain polymer tip. That's his go-to load for his AR for home defense. There's, it's a great round. It works exactly the way it's supposed to. So just another option. You see it down, it'll be, you'll see the polymer tip. Uh, those come in the 55 grain variety, 60 grain, and maybe even some other ones. But I've, those are the two most common ones I've seen are 55s and 60s. Uh, more than adequate, guys. And those are going to be your rounds. Those are your top, that's my top choices for home defense ammo. And there's a lot of good stuff out there. Well, there you have it, folks. I give you the best choices that I found over my experience. And, you know, the rounds that are going to do the most damage to the bad guys and hopefully stay within your abode. Remember this, no bullet is effective if you don't make your hit. And no bullet that you use is going to stay in your house if you just blow straight past the bad guy and goes into something else. It doesn't matter. But I'll tell you this. If I did not mention a certain type of bullet, there's a reason why. I'm not going to tell you what I don't want you to do. I'm going to tell you exactly what I want you to do. All the other stuff, there's a specific reason why I did not mention that. Get a good rifle. Make sure it's zeroed. Make sure it's clean. Make sure you got good magazines. Make sure you got good ammo. That minimizes the equation of something going wrong. We're going to steer the car in the direction we want to drive, and that's making hits in order to protect yourself and your family. I hope you found the information in this video helpful. If you did, subscribe to the channel, like me on Facebook, link is down below. And if you want to learn how to shoot your rifle to protect yourself and your family, come on out to Valor Ridge and we'll do just that. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.